Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and in today's video I'm going to attempt to isolate and show you uh, a showcase of each and every weapon, uh, shield, armor, or clothing, so all the stuff that you can wear or use, uh, that I'm pretty sure was added with From the Ashes. Now some of these I can confirm definitely were added with the From the Ashes DLC. Other ones might have been added with a update you know like 1.5 or 1.6 but i just didn't find them until from the ashes but they are new items to the game one way or the other because I, I didn't see them in the 200 hours i put into the game before all of this so we'll just break them down step by step and hopefully show you some new stuff that you haven't seen before if you like this video drop a like if you like this sort of stuff i sug suggest subscribing uh and if you have any suggestions or if you've seen any new items other than these ones why don't you let me know down in the comments but in any case let's just jump right into it with the first thing that i found so starting us off right here at the beginning, we can see one thing that I can guarantee was added with the DLC. This is called the Tusk. It's a new, unique longsword added with the DLC that you get for choosing the Swordsmith in one of your building upgrades. Uh, it's a decent swords, uh, longsword among the top five in the game once it's been introduced. It's got a lot of perks to it. First of all, it's uh, worth quite a bit. It offers 20 charisma, which is pretty high, only requires a level 1 agility to use effectively, and has a balanced stab and slash damage of 58, so easily one of the best weapons in the game. So that was added with the From the Ashes DLC, that I can confirm. So here we are again, we've got another item that I can confirm was added with this DLC, it's called the Sinew Bow, and it's the new most powerful bow in the game. So much like the sword, it's worth getting. This one you can get if you choose to build the guardhouse instead of the stables. Uh, not much to say about this one other than it is like 10 points more powerful than the U Longbow. So this is definitely worth getting. Uh, and like I said, it is definitely added with the From the Ashes DLC. Here we move into a category of things I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure, were added with this DLC. And they're just two new shields, both of them called the Shield with Crest, but they just have different designs on them. Uh, what's interesting about these is the stats seem to be all mixed up. It says it does 13 damage there. When it's in the sword there, that means damage. Uh, so I'm curious about that because all the other shields have nothing there, it's just blank. Uh, and if you pop into it, it, it's got a weird description, it says, A targe shield, favored especially by the cumans. This round shield, mind you, provides limited cover to the bearer, but for that, all the more mobility. And both of them say that same thing. Now the interesting thing here is, like I said before, it says it does stab slash and blunt damages of 13, and it only has 10 defense, which is terrible. Uh, has a durability of 1, and a minimum strength level of 1 to use. So these are really goofy. Uh, I would say they're mostly just for decoration. And the descriptions don't make much sense, but I think they were added with the From the Ashes DLC. While we're on the topic of shields, we have two heavy shield variants that I'm pretty sure were just recently added. Uh, this one here is the logo on the back. Oh, dang, I wish it would show me. Uh, it's got a gold, like a gold hand sticking up. I don't think I've ever seen that before in the game. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's new. And this one here is, it's got a boar on it. Now, this is not the bristleback shield. I'll show that, you know, in the same video, which is an, a one that I know is definitely added with the DLC. This one's a heavy shield, but it looks like that one. So I'm thinking that this one is also added with the DLC. Um, but I, I can't, I can't confirm. If you can confirm, let me know in the comments. Here we have the shield that I know is definitely added with the, uh, from the Ashes DLC, the Boarback Shield. I called it the Bristleback before, but yeah, it's the Boarback Shield, which is obviously the theme here at Privy Slavitz. They have something to do with boars. Uh, but this one is a unique shield that's added. It's not the Heavy Shield variant. It says, A shield made by the Privy Slavitz Armorsmith. Despite being lighter than similar shields, it offers quite good protection and will stand up to even a chain of several strikes. Uh, this is the new best shield in the game. It beats... It's best for a lot of reasons. First of all, it takes less strength, and is lighter than the uh, Bush shield and has a higher defense. This one has 168, the Bush shield I think has 150 or 155. Plus this one gives you 20 charisma. So this is the new best shield in the game and it is definitely added with this DLC. So here's our first piece of clothing here that I'm pretty sure was added with this DLC. It's the Noble's Green Hood. Now there was a Noble's Hood before that you could get, but it was yellow. It was a yellow, a Noble's Yellow Hood or a yellow Noble's Hood. Uh, this one's green, and I didn't notice it until I started, after I downloaded this update with this DLC and started playing, I found this on a trader out in the, you know, wandering around in the woods. So I'm pretty sure this is a new item. Uh, if you go in here, it just says, you know, basic description there and... It's, uh, charisma is relatively high, but, you know, nothing super special there, but it is, you know, I think it's a new piece of clothing. 
Here we have a piece of clothing that I'm particularly excited about just because I like how much how, how it looks. I really like the design of this one. It's the cuffed combat jan jacket, and it looks a lot like the quartered combat jacket. This, again, is an item that I did not find until after this update, so I'm thinking that it was added to the game. Uh, it's worth quite a bit, around 1k, and adds 12 defense, so it's a pretty nice piece of armor to add, too, but I think it is new. In that same spirit, here we have the Dark Combat Jacket, which is basically the same thing, but just a different color scheme. Again, right around a K, but this one's a little bit cheaper, and uh, does 12 defense, is the same thing, you know. But also, I never saw this in the game until this update, so I'm pretty sure this one's also new. Here we have an item that I'm pretty sure, this one I'm pretty sure was added with this update. It's the Cumin Brigandine. And while it does look a lot like the uh, Cumin Light Armor, it's definitely not. This is definitely a different piece of armor that, like I said, I didn't notice until this update. Uh, with this, there was also something else I found. I think it was called a Bandit Brigandine that I'd never seen before. I found it once and then I accidentally sold it, and so I, I haven't been able to find it since. But it's basically like a leather jerkin with some studs on it. But like I said, I had never seen it before in the game, so I'm pretty sure this and that item were both added as well. Lastly, we have this here. This is obviously a smaller item, and well, I can't guarantee this one's new because maybe I just missed it before. The Heraldic Neck Chain. I think it's new. I'm pretty sure this was added with the DLC, because like I said, I had never seen this before. Uh, but... You know, nothing huge there. I guess, you know, most people won't even notice. You can't even see it on you, but, you know, I think this is also a new item. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If not, I guess you should give that dislike button a view. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you like this content or this game, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the quality content that I release here. If you need any help navigating, I've got a helpful little link right here on the screen that'll help you subscribe to this channel, and I've also got one that'll lead you to another one of my fantastic videos. But, in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.